Now, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can expand the storage to any electronic device that you have, laptop, tablet, or phone. And let's face it, the cost of increasing memory on these devices is pretty high. And sometimes it's really not worth it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how this little guy right here is gonna be able to expand the storage for your iPad, your, let's say your iPhone, your Android phone, tablet, or laptop. And this could go up to, check this out, two terabytes in storage. It's a MagSafe, uh, actually expandable storage solution that connects to the back of your phone. And let's face it, most phones today are MagSafe compatible. They actually have that magnetic feature. And if you don't have a phone that does, you can get a case that can. So you could connect this to your iPhone or your Android phone and expand the storage to store movies, to store photos, any kind of content that you'd like. And it's uber portable. Look at how small this guy is. Uh, the cool thing about this too is that it will work with the laptop, it will work with MacBooks, and all you have to do is if you wanna have the MagSafe feature, all you have to do is have the little ring that's included connected to the back of your laptop or tablet, and it will attach as well, if that's something you wanna do. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the dot case. Again, this is the Smart MagSafe M.2 NVMe SSD drive. Again, two terabytes of storage. And the cool thing about this is that while this is connected to your laptop or phone, you could charge it as well. Let's get right to it. Now, first, let's talk about the specs of this guy here. So you're looking at a portable SSD drive that can support two type of drives, a 2230 and a 2242, 10 gigabits of speed, 100 watt power uh, delivery pass through. It has an advanced cooling system. We talked about the fact that it will support two terabytes of capacity, which is massive. It also could support uh, 4K Pro Res, power loss protection, read-only mode, and it also has SSD health monitoring. So this is the entire or total solution. Let's take a closer peek and see it in action. Now I've been testing this product for a month now, and uh, let me just show you, this is tiny, right? So basically, if you think about this, it just connects right here to the back of your phone. And this is gonna be able to support a Mac, book, a iPad, any kind of device that has USB-C um, abilities where you can transfer files. And it, when it's stuck, it's stuck. The cool thing about this is you notice is that it doesn't really co cover up your cameras, both on your iPhone and on your Android phone. So if you wanna record directly to this device, this becomes an extended solution for even that purpose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. It comes with a 10 gigabit cable and I'm gonna make sure we put it in the right spot. So you have right here a couple spots. Uh, so first of all, you'll notice you have one here and then as we go over here, you have another. Right, uh, actually it's all the way right here. Here you go. So you have these two spots and you'll notice it has a rubberized uh, area here, which also makes sure that it's not gonna scratch your phone. That's also important, or your laptop. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it to the host and it comes with a 10 gig, gigabit cable and I'm gonna connect it to my phone as an example. And I'm gonna power this up. And then you're gonna see as soon as I plug it into my phone, it's gonna start reading and it's gonna come up with all this cool detail. So it basically is going to store some power and that power storage is going to give you that, that recovery feature. So it's gonna charge and you'll notice that it says charging so that in the event that there's a power uh, disruption, your files will not get corrupted when they're being transferred over. This is really cool. So you notice how it's charging and it's gonna basically store enough power so that if I unplug it, it's gonna take a little bit longer before it actually uh, discharges or loses connectivity. That's where you have that power recovery. Now you also then have on the side, let's see where it is on this side, right here, the ability to rotate this display, right? So as you press this, we'll wait for it to charge, you'll be able to rotate the display and you'll be able to interact with all the information on the screen. Frankly, I have several of these. I've used a lot of the dot case products, the hubs. I don't really do much with the actual controls and look at the health. I primarily use it for storage, for a hub, or for, again, power delivery. So on this side right here, I can plug in and I can charge my phone at the same time that I'm actually using it. So now you'll notice that I do have my power there and watch what's gonna happen when I disconnect it. So notice how it's still there and it took a couple seconds. I didn't let it charge completely, but it will basically give you that couple seconds you need to make sure that you don't corrupt your files. So I have the uh, drive connected to my iPad, which is where I do a lot of my editing. And I'm just gonna go into this directory and I'm gonna look for a very large file. I just wanna show you how fast things transfer over. So first, if I go into it, you can see that it's currently empty. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose this file right here, which is 3.45 gigabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and then I'm gonna drag it to the drive and I'm gonna let go. I want to see how fast it transfer over. Look at this. Boom. That was almost four gig. Super duper fast. 
So uh, really quick to, to drive content on there. All right, so I found another file. This is a big one. This is about 4 gig, 4.91 gig. I'm going to drag, drag it here, and I'm going to go ahead and replace that one over. So it's, that one is coming over, and let's let it go ahead and transfer. It's almost complete. There it is. And now what I want to show you is also how fast you can project or actually get the images on screen. So notice I selected it, it came up, and I can scrub. Look how fast I can scrub through this. If I hit play, right? So this is a, uh, a scooter review that I just recently did. Let's go ahead and pause it. But the scrubbing is super fast and the transfer is really quick. So this is what this drive is all about. This drive is about speed. This drive is about convenience. It's about being able to have something with you no matter where you are and, and then store content on it. And it's also expandable to two terabytes. Uh, this is going to be in my bag for this uh, CES 2025 coming because of how fast it is and how convenient it is. So make sure you check out the campaign. Um, I think it's a great value. It's fast, convenient, and it's super tiny too. See you in the next video.